I'll make sure to bring back enough. Why don't we just go to the shop for fish? <laughs> Mutinta, we never buy things at the shop. The shops are far, and when we normally need things, we buy them at the local market. We don't need to buy fish elsewhere because we have our own fish in our pond. Unless we want dry fish or the other type of fish. Is that so? Mutinta, the fish in the shop and the fish from the pond are all the same. In fact... The fish from the ponds is even fresher because we can cook it immediately after harvesting. You see, not everyone lives near the shops to buy fish. Ambuya, are you sure it's the same? Dear, where do you think some of the fish at the market and the shops come from? It comes from the ponds, just like ours. Wouldn't it be easier to just buy fish from the shop? It must be a lot of work to go feed the fish and harvest them. For some people, yes. But for us, it's easier to have our own ponds because we have them not so far from the house. Not only do we have our own food source, but this way we can make a bit of extra money at the market. Okay. Starting and building it is the hardest part. But after that, it's just a matter of maintaining the pond. That's all. Uh, Amboya, if the pond was built, <laughs> then where did the fish come from? Well, let me tell you. Wow, this is beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> it's nice here. I like it. These ponds were made by us. The fish ponds don't always look this way. Mm -hmm. There used to be nothing here. Wow. Completely nothing. Huh? We have wow. a lot of fish here. Wow. Look this at that fish. Awesome. Look at that whoa, one. Whoa, I like whoa. this more. It's one. They're cute. <laughs> I told you, we have a lot of fish here. And boy, what do you mean that they're made by us? How does one even build a fish pond? The first thing to do is to dig a hole for the pond. Oh, you dug a hole for the pond? Why didn't you just use one of those cars that dig ambuya? I myself didn't. But what do you normally dig with? Tools like holes, picks, shovels, right? Okay. You see, a few of the men and women in the village came together to help us. Here in the village, mm -hmm. we don't usually use big machines to dig ponds. Uh, didn't that take long? Um... It depends how much you dig every day. They dug a little every day, and it took us two weeks to finish. I see. Can you build a pond anywhere? Not just anywhere. The location is very, very important. It needs to be near water, because you need it to fill up your pond. Uh -huh. Imagine having a bathtub, but no tap to fill it up. Mm. Would that make sense? You need to build it close to a river, lake, or a place where there is water underground. Okay. We don't have a river nearby, so we go to the next best thing. Ah, is that so Ambuya? How do you know where <laughs> to find the water? Us elders always know where the water is. You see, there is a type of tree that can help you know an area that has water underground. Oh, Ambuya, you did tell us that you've got superpowers. <laughs> yes, my dear. You don't know? Mm. Us elders know Everything. Amboya, Amboya, I have another question. Go ahead, my child. Questions are very good. The more questions you ask, the more you learn. Mm, 
Ambuya, if you dig a hole for the pond, when the soil just absorbs the water, like when it rains... Well, if you dig water in a place there is clay soil and not sand, the water won't be absorbed. <laughs> it's true. Ambuya knows everything. Ambuya knows. After you dig the pond, do you buy the fish for your pond? There are still a few steps before you get to that stage. You need to create a proper environment for the fish to live in. Oh. The fish and the environment have to work together, you see. Okay. You need to have the right amount of water and the pond needs to be just the right size for the fish. So how much water does the pond need? It depends on how big you want your fish pond to be and how many fish you want. Mm, how do I figure that out? Don't worry. Ah. You don't have to. The Department of Fisheries can advise you on how big to make the pond and how deep it should be. You see, bigger ponds are recommended for stable temperatures and good water quality. When the fish are still young, they don't need as much water. But the more water there is, the bigger your fish will grow. Huh? Okay. A pond like ours might only need to be 1.5 meters deep. But someone who wants to put more fish might need their pond to be bigger so that the fish has more space to grow. Huh? Is that all, Ambuya? No, my dear. Some microorganisms such as phytoplanktons and zooplanktons should already be growing in the water. These start to grow as the dry grass and other plant matter start to decompose. Ah, what are phytoplankton and zooplankton? I hope I pronounced them correctly. They are small plants and animals that you cannot see using your own naked eye. You can only see them if you use a microscope. Mm. These are found in water. Oh. Psychoplanktons and zooplanktons are nutritious food for the fish. And they are very, very important. Okay. Psychoplanktons also provide oxygen that the fish need in the water. Okay. So you see, microplanktons are a very, very important part of the pond's ecosystem. Oh. Psychoplanktons and zooplanktons are a very important food source for young fish, which we call fingerlings. Mm. Since the fish, the fingerlings in this case, are quite small, they are only able to eat small things. Where can you get the fingerlings from? Can you get them from the shop at the market? You can get fingerlings from anybody that lives close by. Though some fish farmers get their fingerlings from a hatchery. That's where one can get young fish. I'm where? If it's better to have your own fish pond, then why do people buy fish from the market? Why don't anyone just have their own? Um, you see, my dear, it's not that simple. Some people and some communities don't have enough land or money to have their own fish ponds. So they rely on buying fish from their neighbors and from the market. As for us, we catch fish to eat and we sell some at the market to make some extra money. So what sizes do you sell at the market? We sell different sizes. Sometimes a heap of medium sizes put on a plate. We call this marimba. I see. And we also sell bigger ones, as big as my palm. These weigh about 200 to 300 grams of fish. Amboya, yes. I forgot to ask, do big fish eat plankton? Yes, they do. That's why we continue putting manure into the water, so that they can have more planktons for the ah. fish to eat. Amboya, what's uncle about to do? He's about to feed the fish. It's best to feed the fish when the sun is out, as the fish are more active when it's warm. Mm. How do you decide what to harvest? Oh, in our pond we catch both big fish and small fish. It is all about balance and making sure we fish sustainably. Now imagine, if you take all the big ones, then how will you get more fish? Then why not keep all the small <laughs> fish and sell the big ones? We do not want to promote early marriages, do we? <laughs> <laughs> we keep some of the big fish as broodstock. Yes, yes. So that they will continue breeding in the pond. Yes, we eat the small fish whole because the bones are easy and soft to eat, even for Alinafe. You remember, huh? <laughs> so the fish we've been eating is working. It's keeping your brain sharp. I'll finish up here. Maybe you can go back to the house and take the small bucket. I can carry the big one. Yes. Mm. It looks like today we have a good harvest. Ah, this has been very interesting. Hmm? 
<laughs> My friends in town won't believe when I tell them about it. <laughs> I want to learn more about harvesting and having the best fish in the pond. Well, you can take a course in aquaculture or fisheries management at a trade school. That way, you can start off well informed. Okay. And you're able to manage your fish farming on your own. That's why your uncle is also sharing knowledge with you. <laughs> so that that way, you can also learn from him. Hey, Mutinta, are you guys ready to go and feed the fish? Not yet, uncle. I want to go grab my notebook so I can make the notes this time. Um, Mom, Muliro, <laughs> will you be joining us? No, 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 no. Not this time. Ah, I think I already know enough. Abuya knows everything already. Abuya knows. Yes, knows. Okay, guys, come now. Let us go. Hey, wait.